Another day, another old fun combined 11 here on Folk Football. We've done about 10 this season, and we have to start at one place only, and one place only, and that's Joe Art, because, oh, it's Joe. It's a go for... Joe. It's a go for Joe. Is there anyone that's even remotely else in this debate, or... I mean... Well, I personally think he's fucking shite. So we have to just put him in? Or would you go with Al McGregor? Uh, he caught me off guard normally, the intro's about half a minute, man. But... I know, but I did. I, I threw us in there at the deep end. I can't he swim in the deep waters, man. I can't swim in no those shallow waters. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll go with Joe Hart, but I, I, I genuinely... No, I'm going Al McGregor. Are you? Aye. <laughs> Joe Hart's pish. I stuck Joe Hart in... Yeah, fuck it, I'm going with Shagger. Joe Hart is shite. Ryan Lowe is the best goalkeeper i ever seen in Scott. He's fucking pants, man. He can't have it both ways. He can't say that the Celtic defence is great and then credit Joe Hart for all the clean sheets that you keep. It's either the defence is great or the goalkeeper's great. Oh, Joe Hart's brilliant, but he can he doesn't face any shots on target for like 10 matches in a row. I mean, come on. Exactly. Anytime he does... Last time in Old Firm, I mean, Joe Hart... As soon as Joe Hart fucked up, that's when Rangers started gaining momentum. What way do you want to do this? Based on form or what? I think based on form. And Joe Hart... Well, how else would you do it? Well, I don't know, because I just want to know your logic behind McGregor. I, I, over, I, I actually genuinely believe that if we're basing it on careers, I actually genuinely believe that McGregor's a better goalkeeper than Joe Hart. Uh, who is England number one? And so what? Any of the Premier League say. Look how many shite goalkeepers have actually played for England, right? There's Rob this, Green. There's this false belief that if you're an England international, you're somehow great. I want to, I want to challenge that. That's, I, I don't understand that. It's like, so if you're playing for England, you're automatically better than anyone who plays for Scotland. John McGinn would easily be the first team name in my, in my uh, England team sheet for the midfield if I was manager and he was English. So not, not a uh, big Jude Bellingham. Huh? Nah, fuck Jude Bellingham. He's pish. Really? One hundred and forty million. He showed up at Ibrox no, I mean, and his arse No, it's funny, man. All these Liverpool fans like, oh, when we sign Jude Bellingham, we'll be. How many times have you seen Jude Bellingham play? I bet you these. I bet, see all these Liverpool fans. I bet you have never even seen him play once. They don't even, they, they, Unless they, Liverpool happened to it against Dortmund, which I don't think they have in recent years. No. There you go then. But it's weird. It's like same with Mbappe, right? See all these people saying Mbappe's great. Uh, maybe not now, but see a couple of years ago when they were saying it, they never even seen him play. I know. Same with Haaland. Oh, we're signing Haaland. We're going to win the league. How many people have even seen Haaland play? Because I doubt they were watching Norway games. Well, Arsenal are going to win the league. That's the thing, man. City's been totally. I know, to but go. a lot of people just fucking believe oh someone's great based on you know, hearsay. I don't rate Jeb, Jude Billingham. Exactly. Billingham. Not I don't Billingham. Rate, I don't rate any, uh, Mason Mount. Who's that shite one that plays for Man City? Uh, Foden. They're all overrated as fuck, man. He was in my work. Aye. Well, he looked like him. That's why England will never win jack shit. Anyway, left back. No, hold on. Hold, no, wait. Hold, not anyway. They were up against the worst Italian team I've ever seen. This is an Italian team that's failed to qualify for back-to-back -back World Cups. The only good players Italy had in that team were bloody old. I bet Italy were good. Italy were good in that Euros, man. By far the best team in the Euros. I know, but it was a weak Italian side. Aye. But the England lost, so happy days. Exactly. Happy days. Point is, I'm going to pass. Right, going to pitch, right. But left back. Burnaby, be. Taylor, Barisic. I'm going to go Greg Taylor. I, think it has to be I went Taylor. with Burnaby in mine. Burnaby? Have you not seen him recently? That goal against Ross County? I couldn't give a shit what his goal was like. You went Burnaby? Alright, well, you know, I'll let you have this one so I can use my Uno reverse later Hold on. on. Mo most Celtic fans are saying that they would rather have pick Taylor over Hatati for this match. Do they think Taylor's more important to the team? Well, Hattati's out injured, so that's probably why they're saying that. But nah, I think I'd go with Greg Taylor. Anyway, yo, he went, until he went until he got injured, until he got subbed off in the last one, Celtic won in control. That's it. Right, and, and he called Morelos Fatty. Uh, who do you want in at centre-back? Do, do they pick themselves or as Carter Fickers? Fun fact, Starfelt's had a higher rating than Carter Fickers all season. I believe he's uh, this season. Not point two one higher than him, on average. Does that mean he's getting in our team? Nope. Oh, well, I mean, based off the, the numbers don't lie, according to Scott Steiner, but I would rather cut our fickers every day of the week. No, I will I mean, if I didn't read that, I wouldn't think anything. I mean, it had fucking Sakala up front instead of Furuhashi. So, yeah, I'll go with Carter Fickers. Carter Fickers. In at the other centre-back, do you want to stick Starfield in? Um. Or do you want to go to corner? I mean, I think it's got to be Goldson. Has it? It doesn't have to. I think, I, I think all those saves that he's made with his hands yeah, in the right. box. I'm not retarded. Obviously, right, Celtic... Conor it, Goldson's made more saves than Joe Hart, for fuck's sake. I know, right? I know it's a combined 11, right? But I just think the strongest centre-back partnership, if you combine all the teams in the league, is Goldson and Carter Vickers. 
That is the two you would want in Europe. Even though Goldson, right? Fuck, his arse collapsed in the Europa League final. But I feel like if you were doing, if you were, if you were picking a team to get the job done, right? Co- combine every team in the league. I think you would want Goldson and Carter Fickers. I don't want to fit John Suter. Yeah, but Suter's done, man. I'd take Suter, right? But he's not here. He's pish. Right, okay. He'll be on the bench and he'll come on and he'll get injured. I'd love to, you know what? You know, see if John Suter's fit. I'd fucking, and he's playing, I'd put him in here. He'd be the first name on, I mean, not the first name on the team sheet, but in terms of your defenders, aye. But he's no. I'd put Suter above Carter Fickers, like, so, much better on the ball. Really good at going forward. Do you want to know how shite John Suter is? He's not even a fucking option for centre. <laughs> was he injured again? I don't know, but there's a few people injured here. Right, so uh, we're going with Goldson. Aye, all right. Connor Goldson in there. Boom. In it right back. Picks itself, doesn't it? Alistair Johnson. Really? No. I'll go with Tav. Just, I, 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 I don't see how you can leave Tav out with the numbers that he creates. I mean, That's it. Even if, like, you know, all, even if every he, single one of them's a penalty. Even if he's me. the shittest player ever, which I don't think he is, but I tell you what, I don't think he's ever played good in an old firm game. Not that I can recall. I know. Well, well, maybe, maybe, maybe he's got, like, one or two decent games, but considering how many he's played in, I haven't seen a stand-up performance. Yeah, recently it's been a disaster for Tav. Right, centre of the field. Well, maybe field. tomorrow will be his... Oh, oh, I man. fucking pray so. Centre of the field, I think it's going to be Cal Mac. Cal McGregor's better than Scott Brown. Thoughts? He probably is, isn't he? Like, Not probably is, man. He's more, he's more technically <laughs> gifted. You wouldn't make my Scotland team, but... Oh, well. Aye, but would Scott would Scott Brown at his peak make this Scotland team? No. What the fuck? I mean, I think the fact Cal McGregor actually is in it. I don't know how Scott Brown made the Scotland team at all. To be fair, must have been dark. Well, I do know actually because with the likes of Mc fucking Arthur, Arthur, right? The other two midfielders. Who do you want to go for? I mean, would uh, Hatati's injured, so we we can't put him in. So is it O'Reilly and someone, or is it like is it Raskin and O'Reilly we want in, or is it we want to put Cantwell a bit more forward, or are we not putting Cantwell in at all, or what? Oh, I've yeah. already did mine, so I want you to more or less focus on this. Oh, see, I can't pick. If I, if I pick all oh, players for a certain side, I'm going to be nah, accused of supporting the team. You had a dream last night, mate. You, you, you were playing for Rangers and you were 3 0 up. So I, I will. Cantwell, Cantwell stole my goal last night, for fuck's sake, actually. Did he? I so, was at the edge of the box. I was about to put my right foot through it, and he came in left footed it right into the corner. So you want to put Cantwell in? I go for Or it. Raskin. Both. Or Jack. Yeah, uh, see, I like Jack. But I feel like I feel like McGregor, Jack, and Raskin's too defensive. So you want so who's it going to be? Cantwell guaranteed in, or do you want O'Reilly in? I think O'Reilly's had a shit season. Nah, I wouldn't put O'Reilly in. I'd put Todd Cantwell in. Todd Cantwell's in. No, I think Raskin's injured. Isn't Rangers he? have the more play. No, Raskin's fit. Is he? It's been a nice he's mm. fit. He's been trained all week. So, I mean, is there any other Celtic, Celtic players that could come I mean, in? There's Moy, but. I don't know. I think Moy, he had a really good couple of months. It's going to have to boil a bit, in my opinion. Um, so, Jack, Raskin, or Aaron Moy? Who's it going to be? Jack, Raskin, or Aaron Moy. I'll go Raskin. Right. I think can... he's made a big difference since coming in. Nicola Raskin. I mean, look at, I mean, there is five Rangers players to Celtics free. Doesn't seem right, doesn't it? Not? Wow, I've got a feeling this is where it's going to get clawed back. Up front, is it for a hashi? I think you have to. It is. Right, you don't need to think about it. Are we going to shite our pants? Is it Haxabanovich? No. See, this is a problem because I think there's... Yeah, I can't fit all the players I think should get into this team into three positions up front. Yeah. Well, I think if you're going to put a Rangers player in the front three, it has to be Tillman. But I would put Fashion Sakal in because... Uh, I'd put Fashion Sakal through the middle. So you want uh, so, so do you think Sakala I'd, I'd, and Tillman I'd, should both be in? I'd I'd take Keogh, go out and put in Tillman, Sakala, Kent. Nah, you would. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'd probably go with Keogh go through the middle and then Tillman out in the right and who on the left? Can Celtic even it up? What? Well, I, I, Celtic I, can't even even up. It's six four. I'd go fashion Sakala based on how he played in the last game. He fucking ran them. Wild, I think. What? No, he didn't do it at Hamden, like? No, not at Hamden, the other one. The draw at Ibrox. Ah, that, this will wind all the obsessed up. Look at that Matthew Miles, you love that, mate. <laughs> Fucking read it <laughs> in my team. 
Anyway, I had a dream last night. Rangers won 3 0, so at half time, don't right. know what the score finished like. 45 3 Celtic. But anyway, guys, that is it for the combined 11. Controversial, but it is what it is. And until next time. I'm just basing it on current form and the fact that Sakala ran Celtic ragged last time he played them. So. I See, actually, being honest, I think ever since the, like, the Hamden game, I think there is more informed Rangers players than Celtic. Oh, hold that's on. I'm saying Celtic's no, awful, though. This does, it looks a bit far fetched, right? Having seven Rangers players in there. But how many of those Rangers players can you actually look at and go, nah, they definitely don't deserve to be in there? Exactly. I think since Raskin and Cantwell's came Maybe in... Maybe McGregor, but then you've just, you you look at Joe Hart and you go, ah, Lee Joe. I, I don't think you can say... You can't say Tillman doesn't deserve to be in. No, you can't. Based on the numbers, you can't say Tab doesn't deserve to be in. I mean, goals and... You could argue maybe Carter Fickers, but I don't think you can say goals and is a no. Same with McGregor. I think Raskin and Cantwell have done really well since they came in. And Sakala, last time they played in the old form at Ibrox, was fantastic, so... Dyson Maida, Yota, no place for them. Well, see, that's the thing. I mean, I also think that you could maybe switch it and put Tillman... I could maybe swap Tillman with Cantwell and then put Sakala on the left and have Dyson Maida on the... Put Sakala on the right and have Dyson Maida on the left if you wanted to play a pressing game. But we've already confirmed our team. I, bet, I mean, I think that'd be some team though up front. Maida, Kyogo and Sakala. You, you've put more Rangers players in the team than I did. Well, there you go. Being, although I thought there was a few more injuries. But anyway, until... Funny thing is, I think Celtic will win tomorrow. So. Score. Don't get no... Right, we'll do a preview later. You're supposed to catch yourself there and go, no, you'll find it later. Ah, you'll find yeah. it later on. <laughs> Not 3-1. What the fuck are you on about? Peace. Woo!